Hello everyone, so in this video we have a differential equation and we're going to solve it. So this differential equation appears to be linear. So a linear DE is a DE that can be written in the following form. dy dx okay, plus big P of x times y equals f of x. So if you can write a DE in this form, we say it's linear. By the way, this is a first order differential equation because the order of the highest derivative is 1. So write it like this first, and then you compute something called the integrating factor, which is mu of x, and it's always e to the integral of whatever big P is. Okay, so big P of x dx. So in this case here, we have to first rewrite this in this form. So we'll divide everything by x squared plus 1. So dividing by x squared plus 1, it cancels. So I'll write x squared plus 1, x squared plus 1, x squared plus 1. These cancel, so we get dy dx. So we get x over x squared plus 1. So plus x over x squared plus 1. Then we have the y. And that's equal to x over x squared plus 1. So x over x squared plus 1. Good stuff. So now you see what the big P is. This is the big P. There it is. There's the big P. So you got to compute mu of x, which is equal to e to the integral of big P. So e to the integral of big P. So mu of x is equal to e to the integral of big P. So x over x squared plus 1 dx. Right? x over x squared plus 1 dx. Uh, to do this integral, we can just do a u sub. Right? We'll, let, we'll let u be equal to x squared plus 1. That's the bottom piece. Then du, taking the derivative, is simply 2x dx. And say, well, it doesn't quite look like what we have in the integrand, right? Here we have x dx, here we have 2x dx. So to fix that, we'll divide by 2 to make it match, right? That's how you do uh, integration by substitution, right? You make this look like this. This will be 1 half du, 1 half du equals x dx. Now we replace x dx with 1 half du, x dx with 1 half du. So this is mu of x equals e. And then so x dx is 1 half du. I'm going to pull out the 1 half. And then so we have du over u. So that's equal to e to the 1 half times this is going to give us an ln and an absolute value. So an ln, absolute value. If you don't worry about the plus c, to get rid of the, of the e, we're going to have to bring this upstairs using the power rule. So this is e, a lot of finesse in this problem. Total, it's all finesse. So it's absolute value of u to the 1 half. Right? These cancel. And so you get absolute value of u to the 1 half. But u is x squared plus 1, so you don't need the absolute value because it's already positive, right? So you can drop that and replace u with what it is. There's your mu of x. So that's called the integrating factor. So whenever you see a differential equation that can be written in this form, if it's not already in that form, you write it in that form. In this case, we divide it by x squared plus 1. And then you compute mu, which is always, no matter what, every single time, e to the integral of big P, right? Once you work that out, then we're going to take this and multiply uh, this differential equation by this, right? You want to multiply this one by this. This is the one that's in maybe call it standard form if you like. Multiply the one in standard form by, by mu of x. Um, let's go ahead and do it. So it'd be this times this. So it'll be, it'll be x squared plus 1 to the 1 half times dy dx, so dy dx, uh, and then plus, now we've got to be really careful here, we're multiplying x squared plus 1 to the 1 half times this, this is really x squared plus 1 to the 1, so we have, we're going to have x squared plus 1 to the 1 half over x squared plus 1 to the 1, so it's going to cancel and that's going to become a 1 half, right, so this is going to be uh, 1 over x squared plus 1, to the one half x y equals and then same thing's going to happen here is going to be x over x squared plus one to the one half. You subtract exponents, right? If you have x squared plus one to the one half over x squared plus one, uh, you do one half minus one, so you get x squared plus one to the negative one half. And then you bring it down, and it becomes one over x squared plus one to the one half. So that's the math for that. This next step is where the magic happens, right? This is the amazing step. So all of this, right, all of this is going to become always, no matter what, it's always ddx, okay, ddx, and it's always your unknown function, which in this case is, is y, right, so y, times, times the integrating factor. The integrating factor in this case is this quantity here, x squared plus 1 to the 1 half. 
always. And over here we still have this stuff. So this is x over x squared plus 1 to the 1. Pretty tough problem. So you could check this, right? You could check this. You could use the product rule to check. Let's check, but let's check in our head. It's a little bit hard. So using the product rule, it's the derivative of the first. So dy dx times the second. All right, that's promising. Plus the first. There it is. And then times the derivative of this. When you differentiate this, you, you put the 1 half in the front. And then you get a negative 1 half because you do 1 half minus 1. And then you multiply by 2x, which is the derivative of the inside. So that 1 half that you bring down, combined with that 2x, 1 half times 2x is x. That's where you get that x from. So you can convince yourself using the product rule that this, that this does check. So this will always work. When you get to this step, it's always going to be ddx, and it's always your unknown function times your mu. Always, no matter what. And you can check mentally or, or manually. Uh, to finish, we're going to integrate both sides. So we're going to integrate. So integrate. I'm just going to write integrate. Um, so if we integrate the left-hand side, we just get this, right? Because the ddx goes away. So we get y times, I can't believe I'm fitting it all on board, x squared plus 1 to the 1 half equals. Now we have to integrate this. So to integrate this, you can do a u sub. So um, I'm running out of room. I'll, I'll squeeze it in here. So we have the integral of x over x squared plus 1 to the 1 half dx. So we'll let u be the bottom piece, so x squared plus 1. So du is 2x dx. As before, we divide by 2 to make it match, right? We have x dx. So it's 1 half du, x dx. So this becomes, well, x dx is 1 half du. You can pull out the 1 half. So it's 1 half du over u the 1 half. So it's very similar to this integral here, except we have a 1 half power. So the substitution is very similar, right? You let u be x squared plus 1. You compute your du, so you get 2x dx. And then you have an x dx here. Uh, but you have a 2x dx here, so you divide by 2, right, to make it match. Then you make the substitution, right? So x dx is 1 half du. We're going to bring this upstairs, okay? When you bring it upstairs, it becomes a negative exponent. So u to the negative 1 half du. And now we can integrate it using the power rule, right? The power rule says that you add 1, right? So this would be a 1 half u to the 1 half. So you add 1 because 1 plus negative 1 half is 1 half. And then you divide by 1 half, but the beautiful thing is you already have a 1 half here, so it cancels. And you get a plus c. So I'm going to go ahead and write that over here as part of our de. So what we did was we integrated this side, did it over here on the side, away from the main work of the problem. So this will be u to the 1 half, but u was x squared plus 1. So it will be x squared plus 1 to the 1 half plus c. And this is really cool because now we can divide by x squared plus 1 half. So dividing by, dividing by, dividing by it. We get y equals, well, x squared plus 1 to the 1 half divided by x squared plus 1 to the 1 half is just 1. It's totally rigged. Plus c over x squared plus 1 to the 1 half. And that's the solution uh, to the differential equation. This was a linear differential equation. So whenever you find a solution like this, you get what's called the general solution. That means that this is all of the solutions. There are no other solutions. This is every single solution to this DE. And I say every single one, that's 1 half there. That's because... There's infinitely many solutions, one for each choice of C. That's it.